from theunlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to add Google Wallet to your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so before we begin, you must have done our how to route the Samsung Galaxy Nexus procedure. If you haven't, click on this link and do that. Once that's complete, then you can come back here and then you have to do our how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus procedure as well. Once both of those are done, you can come here and then we can continue. Okay, next we need to download the Google Wallet zip file. So click on this link here. It'll be taken to the developers page. And then we're going to click on this download link here. Save that to our computer. Okay, while that's downloading, you're gonna plug in your device via USB to the computer. Pull this down and make sure it says connected as media device. And you're gonna open up the device's internal storage uh, on your computer. We're also gonna find that Google Wallet fix zip file, and we're gonna copy that over to the internal storage, not inside any of these folders, just on the internal storage itself, like that. Also, do not unzip it, leave it as a zip file. After you've done that, you can close this out. Then we can unplug the device, and we're actually going to turn it off. Wait for it to do that. And then once it's off completely, give it a few seconds. And then hold down both volume up and down. And hold down power. So we get to our bootloader mode. And you're going to use the volume buttons and select recovery mode and hit power. And wait for the device to reboot into recovery mode. Once it does reboot into recovery mode, we're going to scroll down to backup and restore, hit power, and then select backup by hitting power again. And wait for it to back up our current device's setup. This way, in case anything goes wrong, we can revert back. Okay, then once it says backup complete, we're going to scroll down to install zip from SD, choose zip from SD, and we're gonna choose our Google Wallet fix. Hit yes. and wait for it to install. Okay, then once it says install from SD card complete, we're gonna scroll down to go back, and then reboot system now, and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, eventually your device will reboot, and this will take a while. Uh, it's gonna say something about the wallet not working properly. That's fine, we expect that. We're gonna actually now turn off the phone again. And once the phone is completely off, we're going to hold down our two volume buttons again on this side, hold down the power button as well. So we get to our bootloader screen, and then we're going to hit recovery mode. And again, wait for the device to boot into. Once you get back into recovery mode, we're gonna scroll all the way down to advanced, then scroll down all the way to fix permissions and wait for it to do that. And finally, once it's done fixing permissions, we can hit go back and then reboot system now for the last time and wait for the phone to reboot. And with that final quick reboot, we should be able to unlock the device, not have any issue that says something about wallet being stopped, be able to go into our Google wallet and go through the procedure to set it up with your uh, account information. There you go, enjoy.